Okay, in this video, uh, continuing on from the previous one, where I introduced certs and the ideas around them, what we're going to be looking at is simplifying certs, and we're going to simplify these five examples, okay, uh, with increasing levels of difficulty. Okay, so we're going to start off with this first one, root eight. So as I introduced it in the last video, you're looking at trying to find a square number that goes into 8, being able to write 8 as something times a square number. So the square number that we're looking for is 4, 2 lots of 4 is 8. So you can write that as the square root, square root sorry, of 2 times 4. Okay. Now, you can split that square root, because we've got the multiplier, so that's root 2 times root 4. Now root 4 is 2. So you can just write this as 2 root 2. So root 8 is 2 root 2, okay? So 2 root 2. I've put in more working steps than maybe you would be uh, really require. You might well be happier with this. If you just write root 8 is equal to 2 times 4 square rooted and then jump straight to 2 root 2, then that's perfectly fine. Okay, I'm just making sure that you can see every step that we're, well, that we're working through here. Okay. So, next up, uh, root 54. So the square root of 54. So it's really looking for a number that is the square number that fits into 54, and that would be 9 in this case. 6 times 9 is 54. So, this is the same as root 6 times root 9, which is the same as root 6 times 3. So, we can just write that as 3 root 6. Okay? And that's really all there is to it here. And once again, you may have been able to jump straight to 3 root 6 from the square root of 6 times 9. Okay? So, that's that one. Now we've got 3 times root 200. Okay. Well, leave the 3 alone. There's nothing really we can do with that. The 200, the square number that goes into 200 is 100. Okay. You could have put in 25. Um, I'll show you how that works in a moment, actually. But if you did 100 then you could write that as 2 times 100, square rooted, and then say, well, that's 3 times root 2 times root 100. Square root 100 is 10, so we've got 3 times 10 root 2 there. Okay, so I've skipped a step there from the previous example, so you should be able to get to 3 times 10 root 2, which you could then write as 30 root 2. Okay, so this simplifies to 30 root 2. So the other method, as I said, is that you could have gone, well, you could have, might have missed that 200 was 2 lots of 100, and you might have said to yourself, okay, well, uh, 25 is a square number, that goes into 200, and it goes in 8 times. So that's 3 times root of 8 times 25, which is equal to 3 times root 8 times by root 25. Okay? Now... Root 8, you'll notice, okay, well, 8 can be written as 2 lots of 4. So that's 3 times the square root of 2 times 4, and the square root of 25 is 5. So I can now write that as 3 times 5 is 15, times the square root of 2, times the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2, so that's 15 times root 2 times 2, so which makes... 30 root 2, okay? Because 15 times the 2 makes the 30. Obviously, this is a much more long-winded process. But it does show you that if you miss um, a larger square number going into this number here, under the square root sign, then you can still get to the right answer, okay? You haven't gone wrong. You're not looking for a specific square number. 
okay? If you can find the largest square number, it will make your life easier, okay? But if you don't, then you can still work through the process, but it's a little bit more fiddly that way. Now, uh, what have we got next? We've got root 27 over root 3. So root 27 over root 3. Now 27, I know that 9 goes into that, so we've got square root of 3 times 9 over root 3. So we should now be able to see that we'd be able to split that square root into root 3 and root 9. Root 9 is 3, so we can write that as 3 root 3 over root 3. Now if you've got 3 times root 3 divided by root 3, the root 3's cancel each other out. And that just leaves you with 3. So this is just 3. Okay? Okay, so in this last question, we have root 108, uh, take away root 48, divided by root 3. Okay, so we're going to need to simplify each element uh, in order to get to our overall simplified version. Now 108, I'm going to be spotting that uh, 9 goes into 108, okay, um, but if you think about it, uh, is there a larger one? And the answer is yes, the larger one is actually 36 goes into 108. Um, three times, okay? So this is equal to three lots of 36 square rooted. And the 48, uh, the number that goes into 48, um, what would we have? We've got uh, 16 goes in it three times. So three times 16 square rooted, all over root three. So we've got 3 times 36 square rooted, Th square root 36 is 6, so we've got 6 root 3. Over here we've got the square root 16, which is 4, so this is 4 root 3, all over root 3. So in the numerator we've got 6 root 3 take away 4 root 3 is 2 root 3, divided by root 3. So the root 3's will cancel each other out. And that will leave you just with 2. Okay? So this last one has answer 2. Okay? So simplifying thirds, they can be a little bit more fiddly when you get down to these last questions. Uh, but really it's just a case of simplifying each individual term and then putting all your answers together to see what you get.